Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with my Raspberry Pi 3 and I wanted to show you the Pi Top OS. Now this OS is really cool. It's pretty much Raspy and Jesse with some UI thrown on top. Now this is the launch menu here. There's some really cool features built in, but before we get into those, I just want to let you guys know that I am in no way affiliated with this company. They do make and sell products and I'm going to show you those products now. I'm not trying to sell them to you. I don't get a kickback for anything that is sold on their website or anything. I just thought it was really cool. Go to the desktop here. And I already have it loaded up. So this is the company that makes the Pi Top. I mean, this is a portable Raspberry Pi laptop. Pretty cool. But the price is a little pricey because I can get a nice i3 laptop for this price. Actually, for $239, I can get an i3 Windows 10 laptop. 4 gigs of RAM, 2.3 gigahertz, 5th generation i3 with tons more power than the Raspberry Pi. But if you're into the Pi that much, this is a really cool option. Now this is what I've been looking at to get for my children. I have a 3-year-old and a 5-year-old, the Pi Top C, 114. It's just a stand-up Raspberry Pi computer. It comes with a 14-inch HD screen. Raspberry Pi is loaded up inside of here. It's got the converter board on this side. You just plug in one cord and it powers the monitor and the Pi. They offer some add-ons here. Now for the price of the Pi Top, it should have came with two of these. Now I don't even know if it comes with one of them. But for $264, now I understand it does cost money for a smaller company to manufacture this kind of stuff. But $264. With that aside, the Pi Top OS is really cool. Now the desktop background is killing me. It is giving me a headache. I, I freaking hate this, this background. This has some really cool features built in. It has Chromium, and we'll go to the menu here. Under programming, we have all the basics. We have Scratch, Blue Jay, Sonic Pi is really cool. Me and my daughter have been messing with it. You can make music by coding. It's very, very awesome. All the Office you need, like I said, it comes with the Chromium web browser, Raspberry Pi resources, MagPi. Comes with a few games, and this game here, Seed Universe, looks really cool. Now, I love pixel art games, and this is Destiny-ish with No Man's Sky thrown in there, and it runs very well on the Raspberry Pi. Now I do have the Pi 3 here. It should run on the Pi 2 also. Cool, we get a little companion bot here. So I've had my kids using this operating system on a small 14 inch monitor for a couple days now. And they're loving it. YouTube works. And um, it does have Minecraft Pi built in. Everything you need in an operating system. We'll go back to the launch menu here. There's a cool feature here. If you sign in with your account, the Pi Top account that you create on their website, you can track your progress. So let's just say we'll go to Bloom Popper. We'll launch Bloom Popper. And you will code a balloon popper game. You'll need a button connected to the GPIO pins. Pretty awesome, though. So as you may have noticed, this is really geared towards education. And I strongly suggest, if you have children, grab them a Pi 3, throw either Raspbian or something like this on that Pi, and let them mess with it. Now... I got my daughter, she's five, and I have her using Linux a lot. I love Windows. I have a Windows machine, a Linux machine, and a Mac machine. Now she loves Mac, it's very easy to use. It's a beautiful interface. It does run Unix, but it's not Linux like Ubuntu. I mean, when your kids get into school, they bust out their laptop and they're running Linux on it. Kids are gonna be like, what the heck is that? And I know you're going to need Windows. You will need Windows, okay? Don't even try to play like you don't need Windows. So that's why I have Mac, 
Windows and a Linux machine, but I always go back to Linux because I love it. And it's really nothing special about it. Windows does everything possibly more easier. I just like going to Linux. So that's it for now, guys. Oh yeah, one more quick thing. If I wanna open the terminal really quick, pretty cool little feature. Just drag your mouse down here, opens up your terminal window. Drag it back, it'll close it down. I appreciate you guys watching. There is a link in the description to the PyTop website and the PyTop OS website if you wanna download the image. Flash it with Win32 Disk Imager and give it a try. Really cool, geared towards education. Nonetheless, doesn't matter how old you are, you can always still learn something. Thanks for watching, guys.